Okay, so now I want to clean these jacuzzi jets. Hello, happy Vlogmas. We started this morning off with quite a bit of drama. I woke up, fed the kitties, and then the fire alarm wouldn't stop beeping. Like the intermittent beeps, like you need to change the battery beeps. But I couldn't figure out what fire alarm it was because everything's so echoey in there. So I took the batteries out of all of them and it still was beeping and I was losing my fucking mind. I was just, I was going insane. I'm really sensitive to sound, like extremely sensitive to sound. That's why I cry in the club because there's just too much sound. And so I was like, it was like a Chinese water drip torture device that I didn't know when the next beep was gonna come, but it's just a loud chirping beep. And so I was on the phone with customer service because I thought it was the ADT fire alarm that we just installed and he was like instructing me and the beeps just wouldn't stop. So then I took the electrical wiring, like I completely took it off the ceiling and it was still beeping. And I had the battery out and it was disconnected from the ceiling and it was still beeping. I, and I just started, I just, I had a mental breakdown. Then Steve like held the button down a bunch and then um, it stopped. So I guess maybe it has like an extra battery in there after your battery is dead and it's disconnected from the ceiling. So I was like, okay, phew, that's over. My body was still like kind of shaking. I know it sounds dramatic, it is, it is, and you're not wrong, but I don't know, I don't choose to be that sensitive to sound. It just is, cause I would not cry in a club if I could choose. Anyway, so that was over and then I was like, okay, well we should just put the we should just put it back on with, that was the one that was chirping and it was over. So then I was like, okay, we should just put it back on to not have it be like a bunch of loose wires out. But I forgot we didn't disconnect the electricity, which thankfully when I was disconnecting this, I didn't get electrocuted or anything. But when Steve went to put it back up, a huge spark happened. And then um, now the lights in the closet don't turn on and the lights in the vanity. So, no more chirping, but also no more light. I think those are the only lights that got affected. I tested a lot of other ones. They don't seem to be affected. Um, and I know it's because of that, because I was just using those lights and now they don't work. But uh, our friend Ray's coming over and he knows a lot about electric, so. Ray, save us. I'm just gonna um, do a bunch of annoying things today where like it's not fun but I have to do them, like canceling our health insurance and trying to find new health insurance and um, calling the home warranty people about our fridge. Oh yeah, our fridge stopped making ice. It doesn't make water, and then now it's just stopped, stopped making ice, and apparently it's covered by the home warranty, so I'm gonna call them. Oh, and then like I had some auto shipments from Nespresso and from Trunk Club that got sent to our old address, and they're really expensive. So I had the the new owners ask me what I wanna do and I just had them return to sender, but now I gotta email them and make sure I'm not getting charged for for those things. Yeah, it's just a bunch of like, ugh. I don't wanna do these things, but I have to do these things. These aren't fun. It's a freaking party channel. Did I not tell, did you not know? Right, Frank? Franklin, is it, a, is it not a party channel? Is it a party? This is the first gloomy day that we've had here in Vegas. Looks like it's gonna rain, which is weird because the desert, but it does rain in Vegas, I think, sometimes. I've never experienced it, but we'll see. I've seen a lot of lightning in Vegas, but I've never really experienced rain. Oh yeah, I have. It does rain, wow. What a cool story, huh? Anyway, Ray's coming over and we're gonna decorate the outside and he's gonna maybe help us um, get our bathroom lights working again. But uh, until then, I thought we could, what is that? Um, I need to finish unpacking the clothes still, still not done. I was kind of waiting for the lights to come back on. But um, in the meantime, this tub, I've not taken a bath yet because one, that bath stopper doesn't work. So I had to buy a new one and I got a few new ones to see if either of them work. Um, but also I'm really wary about jets in tubs if they're not brand new, I hear like a lot of gunk can build up and they don't look the cleanest. They look kind of dirty. So I was looking up how to clean out jets and it said to use this dis powdered dish detergent. 
So you fill up the tub, you turn on the jets to see what kind of stuff might come out. Then you put like a cup of this powdered dish detergent in and you run it for a little bit. And then, you, and then, and then supposedly, and then you drain it and supposedly it's clean. I would really like to take a bath in here. I just, I just don't want to take a dirty bath because gross. Oh, psych. Our friend's here. Ray's here to save us, everybody. He's here. <laughs> he installed our washer and dryer, if you remember. He also, before we moved in, installed a new water filtration system. Some of you were saying that Vegas has very hard water. Well, not it our does. water. Because it's, uh, it's got a filter water. on it now. No going outside. You stay there. He's going to help us install outdoor lighting. And there's goodies. Nice. An entire bag. Look at that. Of this is why rainbow. there is no uh, there was no Christmas in Target because yeah. it's all here. I'm so bad at remembering to take before pictures. Hey, look what we did. This ceramic filter will block out 99.9, .9, right? This one is a sediment with a built-in carbon underneath. This one is a major sediment. That, that's how the whole thing works. Okay. So you're, you're filtering through here, then it's going through here, then it's going through the life filter, right? And then it's going into your house. So pretty much everything inside the house is filtered. These puppies right here should have been one inch by the builder. They should have mm. put it one inch. I did put a shut off valve here for you, and then all this gets painted white later. That's so so cool. you, if you turn this, if you have a leak anywhere in the house, yeah. Yeah, just come turn this. It'll shut everything off. Oh my gosh. Ooh, clock, clock, what, what's this no? thing? Uh, this is the filter remover. Oh. Right oh. So, so you can remove filter. I have the other one at the house too with the O-rings. So this is the bypass. Okay. So basically what you want to do is you want to pull this towards you like that. Uh huh. And now this filter is bypassed. I so see. all the water is just going through. Okay. So this okay. is the, when we were having the problem when you were using the downstairs and then my upstairs went oh, away. Oh yeah. So if you, if we are ever taking showers at the same time, or if like we have guests over and there's multiple people using faucets, then you pull use that. The yeah. Use yeah. the bypass. Use the bypass. Sorry. Yeah. Many guests bypass it. And, and when you're here and you just want better quality of water, just go ahead and turn that to about right there and then you're good. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Yay, the lights work again. Oh, these lights. Yeah, those, yay, the lights work again. Thank you, Ray. So Ray came over and he fixed the lights in the bathroom and in the closet and he got our garage remotes to work and be programmed. That was also hard to figure out. The heck, how'd I get into poker? I'm in a poker app. How long have I been in this app? I did not, what? I did not open that app. That's so weird. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, what else? Oh yeah, we figured out the layout for what we're gonna do for our outdoor lights, so that's happening. And he put an O-ring on the water filter, and we figured out these these outlets that weren't working. We figured out where the GFCI cable was. Well, you figured out where the GFCI outlet was. It's in the garage. And what else did we do? I think that's we did a lot of stuff. Look how Christmassy looks down there. How cute. But that reindeer's going outside soon, but not yet. Okay, so now I wanna clean these jacuzzi jets. Figure this out. Tub stopper number one. Tub stopper seems to be working, so that's cool. Yay for silicone tub stopper. So it doesn't exactly waterfall out of the faucet, but it's filling up slowly. Let's see what we're getting there. I don't know what temperature this water is. It's all right. I wonder if I was to just fill it up with the warm water, how much it would trickle. This is with both the hot and the cold on, full blast. Wow. Okay, this should be good enough to do the test. Wow, that's, if I just did the hot water, I think that's the hot water side, it's just that trickle, wow, okay, anyway. I think the tub stopper is working. Okay, let's see what kind of bubbles we get with just turning it, turning it on. Okay, nothing yet. Wait, is this even how it works? Oh, you know what? I think it's, I think it's this button actually. This one. Okay. 
Okay, so I guess um, the tub jets don't work at all. That's weird, because the inspector got them to work. I don't know how he did it. He just said the tub stopper wasn't working. Hmm, weird. Not that I really wanted the jets, I just wanted them to be clean. You know what I mean? But I guess if you're not using them, then they're not gonna come out at you. So it should be okay. It should be okay to just take a normal bath, right? I don't know, I don't know. I just wanna take a bath, that's all I want. I don't know, guess we, uh, we aren't gonna be cleaning jacuzzi jet tubs today. I'll let you know if I figure it out. 